Okay, in this video, I'm going to do exercise 1A of the book Fundamental Applied Mathematics, and that starts on page 10 of the book. These are quite simple, so I'm going to push through them reasonably quickly. If there is an issue with that, just comment on the video, please. But uh, you should get these hanging these quite simply and quite quickly. So, question 1, and I'm going to start with part 1 of that. If you're given this vector a, if you're given this vector b, and you're to add a to b. So remember, to add two vectors together, you put the tail of the second vector on the head of the first, and draw the, ve the resultant vector from the tail of the first vector to the head of the second. Also remember that a vector, provided its magnitude and direction are the same, can be moved around. That is also the vector b. So is this one. So I can pick up B and draw it up here. So what I'll do is I'll draw A like that. I'll put the tail of B on the head of A like this. And I'll draw my resultant vector from the tail of A to the head of B like this. You don't need to have it dotted. I'm just doing that for clarity. And then you have this is A plus B. You can also, we'll say, the, the other method is the parallel, it's called the parallelogram method, which is, to be honest, exactly what I did. And you complete the parallelogram like this and uh, like that. And if you notice, that's exactly what I did because you're able to move the vector A over here if you want, the vector B up here if you want. It's, it's, uh, this, that's, it's the same thing. That's question one. Question two is like this. You're given V or B. You're given A. So once again, A plus B, you're going to go from the, uh, the head of A to it, put the tail of B on the head of A. So I'm going to draw A, draw the tail of B on the head of A like that, draw your resultant vector from the head of A, wrong from the tail of A to the head of B. Like this, that's A plus B. Like that. Just uh, a matter, as a matter of interest, what would B plus A be? You draw B, then you draw A, and draw your resultant vector like that. That would be uh, B plus A. Next, part 3, you're given this vector here, B, given a much longer vector, A. So once again, put the tail of B on the head of A. So I'm going to go draw A, draw B, and draw my resultant vector from the tail of the first to the head of the second, A plus B. And, do, and also, and I'm going to do one more vector, A plus B plus A like that. So that would be draw A, put the tail of B onto the head of A, and put the tail of A on the head of B. Like that. Draw your resultant vector from the tail of the first to the head of the second. So that long one there would be A plus B plus A. Next, part 4, given this vector here, B, this vector here, A. Now I'm not going to draw a new diagram, I'm just going to draw a second B up here, and draw my resultant vector from the tail of the first to the head of the second. That resultant vector there is A plus B. Part 5, B, A, so A plus B, draw A and put on the head of A the tail of B, which actually goes back here onto it, so it's somewhere here, and draw your resultant vector from the tail of A to the head of B. There's the tail of A, 
there's the head of B, so I'm just going to draw it above it, it doesn't need to be on it because you can move the vectors around like that. So that vector, that smaller vector, so we'll say that was A, then A plus B would be like this because remember B was going in the opposite direction. So that's uh, A plus B, so sorry once again just to confirm that that's, that dotted vector was the vector A plus B, it's smaller than the vector A because he took B, which is going in the opposite direction, away. In part 6, you're given that, it looks to me anyway, that B is the same size as A. There's A, so once again draw A. Draw, okay, and go from the head of A, draw the tail of B at the head of A. So there's the, tail, there's the head of A, draw the tail of B like this. Draw your resultant vector, well look in this case they clearly cancel each other straight out so you don't have any vector, your answer is zero. That's your that's your answer to that one. So that's question one done. Question two. Show the vector two A plus B. So you're given that this is A, you're given that this is B, like that. So 2a would be 1a, 2a, this is b, draw the, from the tail of 2a to the head of b, that's 2a plus b. Question 3, construct 4x minus y. This is x. This is y. So 4x is 1, 2, 3, 4, we'll say approximately that. That's 4x minus y. So if this is plus y, then minus y is literally just turn the head. But that, that's minus y. Remember, its position doesn't matter, as in its position here, here, here. All that matters is its magnitude and direction. So that's going the opposite direction, but that's why it's minus and it's the same length, therefore it's got the same magnitude. So we have 4x minus y. So we go from the tail of the first vector to the head of the second. Like this. 4x minus y. Question 4. Here, construct the vector x over 2 plus y over 2. Where x is here and y is like that. <clears throat> well, x over 2, uh, you know something, I'm actually going to extend x just to make drawing easier. We'll say that's x. So x over 2 would be like this. We'll say that's x over 2. y over 2 might be this. Therefore, x over 2 plus y over 2. But the tail of the second and the first and the head of the first like that and draw your resultant vector. So that dotted one is x over 2 plus y over 2. And you know something? That's uh, all smash and all. One sec there now, after getting a, uh, yeah, I just moved my copy too much. So question five, let's see if we can get all these done now very quickly. So accurately construct A plus B plus C, given that this is A, this is B, this is C. Okay, so there's A plus B. No, by the way, look at the brackets here. C is being added to A plus B. 
it's not a plus b plus c so draw a draw b on the on the, the tail of b and the head of a draw your resultant vector so that's a plus b so i'm going to draw there that's we'll say this is a plus b and then add c onto that draw the tail of c and the head of a plus b this is a plus b plus c where this is c Question six. Same question, same vectors in as in question five. Show A plus B plus C like this. Remember it's A plus B plus C. So we draw A wrong. We draw B. We draw C on the, the tail of C and the head of A draw your resultant vector from the tail of B to the head of or tail of C and the head of B and draw your resultant vector from the tail of B to the head of C that's B plus C and so that's B plus C again right so you draw you add A to that which goes this direction so that dotted vector is the vector A plus B plus C We're asked, this is also question 6, A plus B, like this, plus C, equal to A plus B plus C. Or, okay, to be honest, I've, I've, I've gotten rid of them, so just look at your copy and see if, which is the answer to that. That's the second part in question 6, I'm not going to do that. So this here is 3x plus... Uh, one uh, so three over two y, and you're given that this is y, and this is x. That's x. So three x would be one two three x, and three over two y. That's one and a half times y. So that might be that like this. So three x is there, plus plus three over two y. And draw your resultant vector, which is as follows up there. All right. And finally, question eight. Show x minus y over two, and y minus x over two. Given that's x, and this is y. Oh, this, sorry, that's y. That's x. Like that. That's that's a very poor diagram. So x minus y over two is draw x, and on the tail of x, put on the head of x, put the tail of y over two. So it's if this is plus y over two, if that's plus y, this is minus y, and this is minus y over two, like that. So there's the resultant vector x minus y over two and draw y minus x over 2, there's y and minus x over 2 would be, we'll say that vector there so draw your resultant vector, sorry I'll draw it up here from the tail of the first to the head of the second like that so this is y, this is minus x over 2 and this is y minus x over 2 let's say uh, exercise 1 a, thanks for watching. I hope it was helpful. Please subscribe to my channel and pass it on to your friends.